All right, when it's this cold in South Louisiana, you sleep in before get on the water. And that's what I've done today. It's 34 degrees. And actually, I think it's a little bit colder than that. Tucked up against my house is a little bit warmer. But I'm heading out today to meet my good buddy, Larry Fry. He and I have been fishing together for years, but we're getting a late start. We're gonna let things kind of warm up a little bit and see if we can make anything happen in the midday hours. Fishing an area that's extremely popular, very heavily fished here in South Louisiana. But first, I gotta meet my nephew. He's doing some demo work for me in a condo that my father-in-law just bought. So I gotta kind of give him instructions about what to do. So that's number one on the agenda for the day. All right, looks like my nephew's already here. Nice and early. That's the way I like it. What's up, bro? Chick-fil-A? What's up? How are you? What you doing? Go Tigers. Go Knights. Well, at least it's warmer in here than outside. All right, so all this carpet needs to come out. All that has to come out. This has to come out. The wood floor? Yeah, the wood floor has to come out. The carpet here has to come out. This has to come out. I'll tell you what, don't don't worry about this because you'd have to pull these out. So we'll just do that when we do the floor. That's not a big deal. Just leave all that in there. All right. And then uh, <laughs> pretty wallpaper. So yeah, I mean, you know what to do in here. This whole, this tub's got to come out and all this tile. All right. And I'm gonna have Joel strip this wallpaper off at a later date. I don't fit through that door. Oh, I think it'll fit through the door. You don't think? Uh-uh. Like if you stood it up? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna need uh, some assistance. <laughs> no. But I, I'm gonna be out of pocket all day, but if there's something I need to come here and help you carry or whatever, I can do that, you know, tomorrow. All right. And that's it. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. All right, chores out the way. Now it's time to go fishing. All right, I'm driving over what's known as the Green Bridge. It is a bridge, but it's not green. It hasn't been green in about 30 or 40 years, but it's over the Intracoastal Waterway. A lot of deep water here. Let me show it to you. That's the bridge. That's the Intracoastal. This is the general area we'll be fishing today. The specks stack up in this deep water this time of year. We'll be launching in an area known as Bayou B Avenue, very historic area. The Battle of New Orleans was fought in 1812, or the War of 1812, I don't know if the actual battle was in 1812, where Andrew Jackson and a pirate named Jean Lafitte kicked some British butt. Here's the launch. Eddie Pinto's. I think it's still called Eddie Pinto's. That's what it was called back in the day. Shell parking lot, not exactly the tidiest place. But it's got a functional back down. It'll do. So as always, I'm nice and early. Supposed to meet Larry here at 10 a.m. It's only 9.33. So I got some time to kill. Got a little bit of work to do on my phone. And he'll probably be a little bit early too. And that's him now. All right, looks like Larry just pulled up. His buddy Mark is with him, backing in the boat. What's up, Fry? Long time, let's see. That was just a... Did you, uh, did you see that pool test video I did? No. I just posted it. It's on Twitch baits. I did the 52 MR. <laughs> By far the worst looking bait. Not even, <laughs> not even close. For real? Yep. What's the better bait? The, the best bait, as far as like everything, action, price, all that, was the soft version of this. It's a H2O Express bait. The Paul Brown Softine, you ever fish that one? The soft Miradine? Oh, it's good. It looked way better than the regular Miradine. When I came over the bridge, the water looked kind of stained down towards Bow Brothers. What kind of visibility you got? Can you tell? Okay. You catch fish in it, Okay. There's a fish. There you go, Fry. Man, it looks like a nice trout. You get a net, Fry? No, yeah, it's a... I got a net a trout. We're going to net him? Let me net him. Let me net him. 
<laughs> Look at Marky, man. What you doing, Marky? What? Dude, that's a nice trout. <laughs> Fry, let me get a pig. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, That's a good trout. That's a good trout. Right. I'm on a boat like yours, man. So I'm gonna sell all my get with the newer boat, newer flat boat bird. Oh, are you? That's what you're gonna do? Thinking, Dude, get an eye pilot. I'm telling you, it's. A, it's a, you swear by it, don't you? I swear by it. I mean, I've been, but man, to me, when you're trying to troll down a bank, man, it's so hard to control. No, it isn't, man. Not at all. You don't even think about it. It's like. I guess you get. It, it's 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 second, it's like your um. You know, you know how to drive a standard? Yeah. You know, you get in a car and you drive a you don't even think about it. But like the first time you do it, you're thinking about everything you're doing. But like what you just did, you caught that fish, you hit spot lock. And you hold right there, you go fight your fish. You come back and you're right where you were. All right, one fish on the first drift. It was a nice one, no doubt about it. But couldn't get another bite. So now we're heading to a different area. See what we can do, jigging some ledges in deep water. Let's see. All right, this is an area known as Bow Brothers, named for the Bow Brothers Construction Company. Their dock is just right there. I absolutely hate this place. The fish are either here or they're not. One time out of ten, they'll be here. The other nine times out of ten, they won't, at least in my experience. Let's see what happens today. All right, remember that green bridge we drove over that's not green? It's right here. Both brothers didn't pan out, so we're gonna make a quick pass on this flat, trying to catch some fish on stick baits. We'll see. Current is rolling through here, huh? I'm not even gonna sniff the bottom. You got two three eighths on there, or what? No, uh, three, three eighths on the top. See, this is where I'd hit the spot lock and just sit right here. <laughs> Good fish, Marky. Oh, yeah. I'm fishing one single quarter ounce, virtually hopeless. Ooh, you got thumped? I'll get it. No, I'm not doing anything else. Just videoing. <laughs> oh, he lost it. Where is that anchor? Under that front white ice chip. Like the most inconvenient spot possible. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. All right, not bad fish. 16, 16 inch speckled trout. Oh yeah, 16 inches. Got him, Mark? You catching all of yours on that shrimp creole, aren't you? On that second, that second bait. So you always wonder if it's like a color thing or just a bottom thing or what? Oh, there he is. Make it a double. Make it a double. You got him, Fry? Fry lost his. This one's marginal. Yours is not marginal. Away. This one's long and skinny. We'll see. I don't know. I have my doubts. Uh, I'm not going to keep him. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad. And by Fitzgerald Fishing. And by Seto New Orleans. And by Versamax Quartz. And by Death Grip Jig Heads. There he is. Feels like a file hook fish or it's a red. It's gotta be a red. Yep, big red. I got him. What you got a red or you got a double? Double or red, I'm not showing. Not acting single trout like, is he? <laughs> look, 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 I got you. You got a red and a trout. Go ahead. 
Look at that. Double red and trout. Double duck. Which one is this? Your three eighths? Here, I'm gonna give you um try these jig heads. Tell me what you think of them. Huh? Yeah, duck yeah, red. That's what this is. I, I lost them. I bought two packs and I'm out. I gotta go buy some more. Oh, no doubt. Way out. Good solid fish. Let go of my bait. Let go. Let go. On a cork. On a cork. Oh, shoot. Water temp is probably 52 to 55. Catching them on a cork. Shrimp Creole Matrix Shad, 3 8 ounce Death Grip Jig Head, 17 and a half inch Speckle Trout. All right, so I got a love-hate relationship with this whole Chalmet Wall area. It's a great place to fish in the wintertime, but the fish are never in the same place two days in a row. It's absolutely crazy. If you caught fish in one area today, forget about fishing that tomorrow because you're not going to catch them there. So today we came out, hit a bunch of different areas. Very confident we'd run across some fish, and we definitely have. Now we're in a community hole area, right at the big lock on the ICW. But we kind of pulled off from the area most people fish, right over there in that corner. There's a big drop off here with the water just racing through. And these fish are holding here, kind of moving in on, in schools and feasting on the bait that's being pulled by the current. We're not catching them every cast, we catch them on a lot of casts. And there's some really, really nice trout in here. Catching them just a really fun way. Deep jigging, we're throwing really against the current, maybe even side current, letting the bait slide across, bumping along the bottom. If you're not on the bottom, you're not getting bit. And they're just kind of mouthing it. It's winter time, they're just mouthing it, but they're coming up. Marky's got one now. Come on, baby. I said they were coming up. Make a liar out of me. There you go. They're coming up trying to throw the hooks. That's a 17 inch trout. Nothing wrong with that at all. I gotta go back to fishing. There he is. <laughs> Nothing prettier than that. Nothing. How can this not be your favorite fish? Oh goodness, that's a red. That's a red. Holding on those rocks. He does not want to budge. Yeah. It's amazing in the winter how much less these fish fight. I mean, that fish in the summer, you're fighting it 20 minutes. All right, let's let him go. Come on, dude. Man, why are you so stiff? Come on, dude. Come back to life. There you go. All right. There's a fish. That guy's a fish. You're a trout. You're not a red. <laughs> All right. Putting a box together. There he is. That's a good fish. Come on up. Come on up. Nice. That's what you like to see. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
Marty thump it. Marty thump it. Come on up. Come on up. If you're a trout, you're a nice one. I'm thinking red, but he's not a giant red. Could be, you never know. I would have lost a lot of money over the years thinking I had big redfish that turned out to be trout. But I'm thinking he's a redfish. Either he's foul looked. Red. Ah. He's a he's a flipper. Alright. Multi spotted. Only on one side. Well two spots on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Wouldn't win any rodeo. <laughs> Look at it. He's like, oh crap, I'm hooked. Man, you got a double, huh? There he is. <laughs> the trout's barely hooked? I think the red's a throwback. You got the trout, you got them both. That's a nice trout. Oh, yeah, we go. Look at him. That's a good fish. And they're bigger. Look at that. It's like pond strain fish is what it is. Man, it's a nice trout. So wide. This is the new Seabrook, this area. Look at that sign. Do not anchor. <laughs> Do not anchor. Look, oh, he's going to put it right there. <laughs> That's not a smart individual. They wonder why we have oil leaks in the marsh. No, too late, dude. Shouldn't have bit it. All right, there he is. What you got, a redfish? I think it's a trout. I think it's a double? He didn't come up? Not even a big trout. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll let you know. Just go ahead and fish. Do we still have the net out or no? Let's see Uncle Marky. There we go. You're all perfect. There you go. That is incredible. Larry Fry just caught a speckled trout. And what are we in? 25 feet of water on a cork. In December. In December. <laughs> what are these fish pushing to the surface? It's got to be shrimp, right? You're gonna be swimming again, I think. Although he's kind of long, just real skinny. Oh boy, you're close. We got too many fish to risk it. Cork again? Oh, dude, look at this. And uh, we got twenty-three foot of water. What a day! Ridiculous. So here's the situation. We drifted. Oh man, I missed one. We drifted away from the lock here. We were actually motoring to go catch some bass, and we saw just a few birds dipping. Not even really dipping, more just hunting. So we're fishing out in the middle of nothing in the intercoastal waterway, and Larry's throwing a cork in 23 feet of water. Oh. <laughs> hey, <yeah. laughs> it's a bigger one. It's a bigger one? <laughs> yeah, that's a good fish. Nice, beautiful. Oh yeah, he'll weigh. Trip 
You got him? On the double rig? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, stay on. He's not, he's not, nah, well, he's growing. He wasn't big. Now I think he's aware. He's going to get a boat ride. You see people doing this and you laugh. <laughs> Look at these idiots throwing corks in 26 feet of water. No, oh, baby red. Look at that. It's just amazing to me that the trout are this aggressive in water that can't be more than 55 degrees. I mean, because they're pushing those shrimp up. <laughs> you can't help but laugh. <laughs> it's just absurd. Come on in, boy. Made the mistake of your life. Man, I gotta tell you, fishing trips don't get a whole lot better than that one. What an absurd day. Very, very fast action on speckled trout. Finished it off by catching trout in 26 feet of water on corks. That's just crazy. So my day is almost done, but I got an errand I gotta run first. I'm on the east side of New Orleans. I gotta go all the way to the west side. Hopefully the traffic isn't too bad. Driving in New Orleans means traffic. just unavoidable all right here I am I'm at my buddy Paul Oliver's place it's a sublimation t-shirt printing place picking up the official Marshman mass on fishing shirts What's up, dude hey how's it going what's up pup okay. hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. That wasn't smart. I left my rods out here while I was in there chatting with Paul. But I got the shirts. And man, they look good. There we go. If you ordered one, it'll be on its way. In fact, you'll probably get it before you see this video. And if you didn't order one, I'll have another order coming along in a few weeks. I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know. Be sure and watch for it on social media.